So on Monday, there was a terrible crash at the intersection of Fifth Avenue and Ninth Street. Two very young children were killed, and uh, one of the women was pregnant, a mom, and she was seriously injured. And in that particular case, it may have been that the driver was just extremely reckless, and no one solution could have stopped her from inflicting the harm that she did. But this street has a very long history, separate from that incident, of crashes. Uh, there have been 10 crashes at Fifth Avenue and 9th Street since 2014. There have been cars up on the sidewalk into stores on both sides of the street. There was a person killed on Fifth Avenue and 9th Street in 2016. I'm here as a dad. I'm here as a person who lives just a few blocks away. I'm here as a person who sends his kids to a public school one block away, who comes to this very gym to take his kids to swimming class. And the reason we call this it's because this is, it's enough, right? This is enough. I chose the Park Slope YMCA because the mayor is here a lot. It is part of his daily routine. This street needs to be fixed. Last year, I and a few other people sent requests to DOT to fix this street with pedestrian islands, a protected bicycle lane, and the kind of treatments that have worked everywhere they've been put in. And we were told by DOT in a letter that there wasn't room because of the turn bays at each intersection. That is not Vision Zero. Vision Zero says your convenience as a driver is not impor more important than everybody's safety. And you know what there is room for on this street? Parked cars, double parked cars, sometimes triple parked cars. So you're telling me there's room for that stuff? But there isn't room for people to cross the street safely. There isn't room for people to go up to the most popular, biggest park in Brooklyn safely to every transit stop along this street. I don't buy it. I don't accept it. And you shouldn't accept it. These are not accidents. Our children went to school together. They were classmates and they were killed in two separate crashes. We have the solutions to fix this problem, just not the political will to make it happen. We need to change the reckless culture of reckless driving on our streets. It can't be okay to drive like a New Yorker. When I posted this last night on Facebook, I wasn't even sure that the mayor was gonna be here today. He's here a lot, but you never know what's gonna happen. To his credit, he came out, he came through the big crowd of people and listened to me specifically, listened to Amy Cohen and the other people who were here from Families for Safe Streets. And um, look, he defended his record on Vision Zero, which I think is worth defending, but we need to accelerate the pace. And that's what I kind of pushed him on, is that too much of what we're talking about gets dragged down by community boards, by fights over parking spaces. Uh, I tried to get a bike corral in front of my kid's school. It took the better part of a year. Um, these things are taking way too long, and he is mayor. He can't just stand up when it's Queens Boulevard, the boulevard of death. He needs to empower DOT to go to communities and say, these are the solutions we want to install on your street. And he needs to empower them to do it anyway. Safe streets now! Safe streets now! What do you want to say to the mayor? What message do you want to We give need them? traffic calming. We need speed bumps on every road in residential neighborhoods. I think the sign's pretty comprehensive, and I think that he got an earful already. The buck stops with him, and we all know it. It's time that you stop driving from Manhattan to, uh, to Brooklyn to work out in the gym. You have a gym in your home, Gracie Mansion. It's time that you really paid attention to the importance of Vision Zero for New York City. We're here and not at City Hall because this is the mayor's backyard. This is where he comes every day. And we love him as a neighbor, and we want him to act as a father, as a neighbor, as a citizen, but most importantly, as our leader. He can get this done. So what do we want to happen? We want this street fixed. I don't want to hear, but there are other more dangerous streets. Fix those streets too, and fix this one. So we want him to call on DOT 
to come to the community with a solution for this street. We don't want a six month study, a one year study, multiple community board meetings where people fight about stuff, or no offense to everybody, where people talk about a war on cars. There's a war on kids. There's a war on people, and we want it to stop. When you redesign a street, that changes the culture because it sends a message to drivers that you are at most an equal partner here and at, be and at best a guest, and that the real priority are the people on foot, the people on bikes, people stepping off of a bus. So I think if we change the street design, we de facto change the culture. Um, I think that the mayor himself could talk more about reckless driving. I think he talks a lot about it, and I give him a lot of credit for that too. Um, but he could really talk more ab about that. 